Saturday Night Live, Mikey Day says farewell to Steve Bannon mask for everyone out there who didn't know already, it was Mikey Day of Saturday Night Live behind that Steve Bannon mask. Over the past year, we've seen the cast member take on a humorous version of Donald Trump's top strategists, a man known for being such a dark figure that the show decided to more or less make him into the Grim Reaper. There was terrible music that played any time he walked into a room, he sounded like Darth Vader, and he had no problem whatsoever making Trump appear to be a child. The toughest part about the Bannon character was that sometimes it was hard to understand him. Also, the mask made it hard for Day to use anything other than his distorted voice for the performance. Still, the character produced a number of good moments through his run, including when he sat at the bigger desk at the Oval Office while relegating Trump to the small one. This was one of many delightful little sight gags that we had a chance to see. The character was a fun addition to the show as a whole, but it does seem as though it's time to say goodbye. The image posted below comes from Day's Twitter account, and he makes it clear that Bannon is now going the way of the dodo after appearing on Weekend Update Summer Edition and announcing that he has more power than ever now that he is back over at Breitbart. It's always possible that the Bannon character could come back, but there's no logical reason to do so at the moment. This is a character who clearly has lived out his life on the show, and he's probably not going to be anywhere near as relevant moving into season 43. He now says farewell along with presumably Melissa McCarthy's Sean Spicer. While that was fun while it lasted, there's no real reason to bring him back now that he is out. The last appearance from Spicer on the show probably serves as a worthy goodbye. One good thing is that SNL already does have A.D. Bryant ready to take on Sarah Huckabee Sanders on a more permanent basis, given that we saw her take on the character at times during this past season. Maybe they'll have to figure out some other people to play active roles within his administration, given that it does change so often at this point, though, it's probably best to not lock into anyone permanent. Are you sad to see the SNL version of Bannon go the way of the dodo? Share in the comments below. Just in case you do want to watch the last appearance of the character one more time, you can do so below. Meanwhile, be sure to visit the link here in the event you want to see who the host for the first episode of season 43 is going to be. Here's a hint, they were a relatively recent host for the show.